All right, guys, I had to take out those two bolts that were holding the cover and then maneuver the, um, the cover around a little bit with a little pry bar here and here over where the bolts go or so I was able to get the gasket and the pump on. Um, you'll have to do that if you're not going to take the cover off. Uh, but we got it on and then I'm going to start buttoning up the um, water pump. You do not torque these more than six to seven foot pounds. Uh, otherwise they will snap. So that is the torque spec. I think it's uh, something like uh, 71 or 72 inch pounds. Um, all right. All right, guys, now we've got the uh, new pulley. This is the old one. You could see how the belt was running on it. It is the same exact brand, a Koyo made in Japan. And so this is at 32 foot pounds, according to this diagram here. Um, so 32 foot pounds. And I already did all the water pump. They were 71 inch pounds. So roughly six foot pounds, five and a half foot pounds, and then uh, we'll just keep going. So this is to 32 foot pounds. It's a 14 millimeter. There we go. Next we'll start uh, putting the belt on. We have to double check that these didn't move and then uh, make sure everything is clean down there and We'll get that belt on. All right, guys, when installing the belt, you could see there's a forward direction or front direction that is out away from the engine. So when you put this in, those arrows should point away from the engine. And that will get the proper tension and rotation on this. Uh, and then you need to line up the marks that are on here um, and what I like to do is put this around the crank and work counterclockwise like they say in the instructions and then from there you could uh, just use clamps to help you keep it in place before you put the tensioner on. Alright guys this is what I did to line up the mark with that dot right there with the uh, crank and then you go counterclockwise and uh, per the instructions and then get the uh, teeth to fit and then align with the top. So I'll show you that. You can see here I have that aligned with the top per the clips and uh, the belt can be tensioned now. See there? Let's get you it a little closer. Okay, so you can see it's a better alignment now. I have to use those clips. And this is aligned. Um, I'll move that one back just a little bit to align it. And we'll be all set to go. But you keep these clips on and they help you align everything really well, get the tension going really well. And uh, we'll be all set. Um, we just got to put the tensioner on at the bottom and then we could remove the clips. All right guys, here's the new one and there's the old one. <clears throat> Just gotta make sure you put the washer on uh, when you put this, uh, the, the new one on. So definitely make sure the washer's on there and then we'll put that in there to get it all tight and then up against the belt. All right guys, so what I had to do is put this tensioner on first. Remember these are 20 foot-pounds for the bolts. Short one on top, long one on the bottom. This one is at 25 foot-pounds and you basically get this on first. Then you put this uh, portion here and just kind of pivot this up and line up the bolt and then drive it home. And again, having the tension, um, having these teeth 
nice and tight is good. Now from the top you can see everything is lining up. You got the marks lining up in here and I have the clips on. I'll release the pin, remove the clips and then use um, uh, you use a socket to turn over the engine and make sure that nothing is hitting before I um, go ahead and button it up. So I'll pull the pin, take off these clips, and then rotate it by hand a few times. Uh, just go around a couple of times and see that it does not uh, interfere at all, it doesn't bind. Do not try to start it before that because if it does hit, you're going to bend valves and things. So just do it by hand because then you could feel that it is binding and then you could go back and redo everything. But if you s use the starter and it starts up, it could be too late otherwise. But um, And then, oh yeah, the marks are not always going to line up anymore, but you're... Um, the top dead center marks will, but on the belt they, they may not line up because there's so many teeth and so on. So we'll uh, turn this around a few times because so, I've just got to button everything back up. It'll be um, the top cover on first, then uh, the isolator can go on, the engine isolators everything, and then the bottom cover uh, to button everything up and then the then the um, pulley can be tightened up to 165. Okay guys I did uh, spin it a few times and you could see the marks are lining up still. There you go and so I think this is golden and we're ready to start putting this back together and uh, torque up the uh, damper at the end to 165. So we'll start putting those covers on and buttoning up everything, putting the engine mount on. Um, all right guys, I did get that bracket in and you could see the way the belt is. I did rotate this engine quite a few times and nothing hit. I rotated it with the crankshaft bolt in place. You could see down there. Just the easiest way to turn it around. That way the uh, water pump is not getting uh, a lot of load on it by running dry. And um, you get to see if anything hits. Uh, it's had quite a few turns now. so. I know the clearance is there. I've seen the marks line up, so we're good to go. All right, guys, we're buttoning up everything right now. You can see I got the um, the mounting bracket in. I got the covers on. Um, and then if you look down here, you can see that that washer that goes on the other side of the belt is on. I did put an O on it with a Sharpie just so I know it's facing outside and the covers are on. All right, now we're going to uh, button up everything else, put the damper on, and I'm going to put it on with the impact and then I'll grip it and then it's 165 foot-pounds. Uh, I will not put Loctite on it because the bolt still has Loctite, a little dry Loctite on there. Um, it should be good, um, but we'll do that next. All right, guys, I'm going to be putting on the power steering belt. The top one is the 100,000 mile, made in the USA. The new one is made in Mexico. And it, it definitely feels stiffer, but I don't know if it's because the top one has 100,000 miles on it or not. But I'm going to keep that old one because it still looks brand spanking new and good. So I'll have it as a backup in the vehicle in case I ever need to change it. Alright guys, we're getting close to the end. I've got the covers on, I've got the belts on. They're tightened. You need a 45 degree bend in, in it and uh, pretty taut. 
Um, other than that, I'm going to put, and this is the time to do it, put any C's on this and make sure I get some on that dowel because this will be hard to get off. You notice the wire harness is snapped back on, so we're doing good so far. We're getting everything buttoned up pretty good here. Um, other than that, I think it's coming together after that. Put the top hose on, put the bottom hose on. I'm going to fill it up, get the battery uh, on there, and then uh, start up the car and look for leaks. Keep the cap off and just kind of look for things and when it warms up enough uh, and the, the thermostat opens up it'll start to uh, suck it in. I'm going to park it on a little incline and we'll go from there.